Appraise It Pro's Comp Manager, which is included in the Appraise It subscription plan, allows you to easily archive and keep track of all of your subject, listing, and comp data, along with all the photos you've taken of each property. This is helpful when you want to use an address again or reference back to an address down the road to ensure consistency and accuracy. In this video, we'll go over how it all works. All of the addresses and photos you use in a report are automatically archived whenever you save a report. A scan for new info is also performed whenever you start up Appraise It Pro. Because everything is automated, you don't have to worry about maintaining a database on your own or adding new records, though you can if you wish, and we'll go over that a little later. We'll start with a completely blank report to best show how adding address information and photos from the Comp Manager works. When you start Comp Manager by going to the Tools menu in Appraiser Pro, you're presented with the search screen. This is a little different from other programs you may have used in the past as it uses a unique tile interface. Each tile is a search box that you can use to narrow down your search results more and more. You can choose to search on just one item or use multiple items to fine tune your results. Note that some of these search tiles also have pull-down selectors and some have option pull-downs that can modify the scope of the search for that tile. For instance, this one allows us to select contains this street name, street name equals, begins with, and ends with. Others allow you to select ranges for numbers and date values and yes or no for binary options. On the right are the search options. Here you can select either the comparable database, which is used by default, or Complink. Complink is a subscription product that allows you to pull in data from your local MLS. We cover this product in another video, so for more information, visit our website or search YouTube for Complink. There are two checkboxes under the comparable database selection. Indexed reports searches all of the addresses that have been gathered automatically from your previous reports. User records also includes any records you have added manually. Some additional options below search options include the order in which to sort the results, how many results will be displayed on each page of address tiles, whether to include all matches for a given address or just the most recent, and whether to include results that are contained in the current report. In most cases, you will probably want to leave those last two checkboxes unchecked so you get clean and up-to-date search results. To show you how it all works, we're going to search for a street in a specific city that is a ranch-style home. Notice how it auto-fills in as I type, similar to a web browser. When we've filled in the tiles that we want to search with, we'll click View Results. The search gives us two results shown as a series of tiles arranged in a grid. By default, 24 tiles will be shown per page as this best fits a standard 1080p monitor, but this can be changed back on the search screen. You can switch between multiple pages by using arrows that will show up at the bottom if multiple pages of results exist. Each address tile displays a front view photo if available, a street address, and some key information about the property also if available. A UAD tag will also be shown if the data for that address is in proper UAD format. The first is blue because it's the tile that we currently have selected. The second one is the one we're looking for, and it's colored green because it's not currently selected. A few icons are also shown in each tile. The photos icon allows you to see all of the pictures associated with that address and, if desired, delete them or reassign their view label. You can also drag and drop specific photos over to the transfer panel. For instance, you can drag photos into the general photos pages in this way. When you drag them over, you'll also have the option to relabel the photo by typing in a custom label and pressing the plus sign to save it for future use, or you can use the pull down menu to select a label from the list. You can also delete a label from the list by selecting it and pressing the minus button. The Details button shows you all of the information stored in the database about this address and allows you to add or edit notes about the property. So this is the address that we want to use in our report, so we're going to simply click and drag the tile into the space on the right for Comp 1. If we wanted to put the data tile someplace else, we could use this pull-down menu to select a different comp or listing page. To add a new comp or listing page to your report, just select the type of page that you want to add and then click the green plus button. 
We can also do another search and repeat this process for other comps or listings by clicking the back to search button in the lower right. Below the transfer pane, we have a few options. Under selection, we can choose what data is transferred into the report. By default, the front view photo and the address data will be transferred, but we can also choose to only transfer the front view photo or only the data without the photo. For now, we're ready to add this data tile into the report. To do this, we click Transfer to Report. The Search Addresses in Report button allows you to search the comp database for the addresses you have already entered in Appraise It Pro for the subject, comps, and listings. This can be useful if you have manually entered photos and data into Comp Manager previously and wish to recall them all at once by searching the addresses already in the report. When you click it, Comp Manager will look at all the addresses in your currently open Appraise It Pro report and use these addresses to search the database for matches. Then you can just drag the address tiles you choose onto the corresponding spot to the right and add the data to your report. Search schemes allow you to save your search tile setup so you can easily and quickly recall it later to conduct the same or similar search. In addition, schemes will also save information and selections you have pre-filled in the search tiles. To set up to save a search scheme, remove any tiles you wish to not be included by clicking the X in the upper right corner of the tile. To add a tile, select it from the pull down menu to the right under Parameters, then click Add Item. You can also pre-fill any of the tiles with search data. To create a search scheme, click the Save As button under Scheme on the right side of the search pane. Give the search scheme a name and then click Save. To select a scheme for use, use the pull down menu. To delete a scheme, select it and click the delete button. You can also select a scheme and click on the set default button to use it by default every time you open up Comp Manager. Add Record opens up a whole new screen that allows you to manually add a new address to your database instead of just using addresses you previously entered into reports. This can be helpful if you go out into the field and gather lots of data and photos ahead of time to be used later. To add records to the database manually, fill out as many of these fields as you have data for. You can fill out as many or as few of the fields as you wish. There's no minimum amount other than adding a street address. Use these section tabs up top to access all of the fields that are kept track of by Comp Manager. The fields in green support UAD formatting with a UAD helper similar to the one found in Appraise It Pro. You can also add photos and associate them with the address in the Photo tab. Just browse to the location which contains your photos. This can be a folder on your computer, a memory card, or a card reader, or even a camera plugged into your computer if it's supported, using the folder tree on the left. When you find a photo you wish to use, drag it from the preview pane in the middle to this area in the upper right corner. Each photo will be added to the tray on the right. You can then use this pull down menu under the photo to associate it with a view or type in your own custom view label. For instance, if you select front view, this photo will automatically be used for the address when transferring it into the report. If you wish to save custom view labels for later use, click the plus to the right. You can also select a view from the list and click the minus to remove it from the list of saved labels. There are also two checkboxes here in the lower right. Recycled Use Images sends any used images to the Windows Recycling Bin once they're added into the database, and the other shares saved photo descriptions with other users on a network. When you're done adding photos and filling out the data for your record, click Save. To edit a record, click on the Edit icon on its address tile. Keep in mind that automatically indexed records cannot be edited, so a copy of the address will be created for editing as a custom, manually entered record. Edit or add the new information, and then click Save. On the search results screen, export to file allows you to export all of your search results to a file so it can be imported on another machine to make sharing data with colleagues easy. To export your own search results, conduct a search and find what you need. On the search results screen, click the export to file button in the lower right, choose where to save the file, 
give it a name, and use the Save As Type pull-down to choose the format for the exported data. You will have two selections. Comp Manager Database will allow you to easily share all the data and photos in the search results with someone else using Appraise It and Comp Manager. CSV, comma separated value will save the data only, not the photos, in a more generic format that can be opened using a spreadsheet program like Excel or Google Sheets. The person you're sharing data with can import the exported Comp Manager search results by going to their Comp Manager search screen and clicking the Import Data button on the right. They will then want to select Exported Comp Manager Database and then browse in your file. All of the records you exported will then be added to their database, including all the photos. Back on the search screen, the Import Data button allows you to import data from older Appraise It Comp management programs like WinComp and Photograph It Plus. Just select the source type of the data and then browse to the file you wish to import. This data will be added to your Comp Manager database. And that's it. If you need any help or have any questions, email us at tech at sfrep.com or give our tech support a call seven days a week at 800-644-4051. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for being an SFREP customer.